what advice would you give to parents who are dealing with it for their first time? Well, that's really, that's a great question because a parent, it's, it's very scary. When you hear that your child is having a hard time, it's hard not to panic as a mom or dad. Mm -hmm. um, but there are, there are steps that parents can take. The first thing is that anytime a child makes a report to a parent of, of bullying, the parent should document it because it gets very emotional. And if you can go to the school with a written account of things instead of it becoming a he said, she said, that will strengthen your, your case. So you have your kid tell you, you write down the date, the time, who was involved, what happened. If there's any actual evidence, photograph it. If, if property was destroyed, if a mean text message was sent, take a, um, a screenshot of the phone. If something vicious was written on a Facebook page before blocking and deleting the person, Take a screenshot or print it out so you have the evidence. That way, when you go to the school, if you get some pushback from the school saying, well, we didn't see it or it didn't happen, you have this evidence so that you you know, you know can say, well, here's my record of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So that helps take the emotion out of it and helps you just focus on the issue at hand. Another thing that parents can do is convey to their child that we're on your side. Mm -hmm. You know, Even if your kid's quirky, even yeah. if your kid has some off social skills. Maybe you have kids who you know, you know, are a little different. It's really important to convey to, to your kids, hey, you know, I'm on your side and I'm I'm your advocate and I'm gonna work with you and we're gonna find all the ways. It's usually a multifaceted approach. You know it it might be social skills training for the person who's being victimized, empathy training for the people who are doing the bullying, um, you know, it's, it's a multifaceted approach where each party needs special care and attention. Um, and so, you know, it's not a simple one-time solution. It also requires ongoing monitoring. Um, you know, if a teacher takes action once and then turns away, it's not going to be enough. So it, it, it's parents need to stay on top of it, maybe meet every six weeks with the school to have a, an assessment of how things are going, how many acts of, of kindness or unkindness have, have happened, you know, what's the general direction of what's going on. Um, you know, you want to you wanna keep on top of things. So that if it's not getting better, you as a parent can come back to the school and say, well, you know, according to my records, you know, there were still eight times when my kids sat down at lunch and everyone rolled their eyes and moved to another table. Mm -hmm. So that isn't getting better. We need to continue to do something. So my advice to parents is to keep track. Well, thank you very much for your time, Carrie. I really appreciate it. It was great to meet you. It was really great to meet you too, yeah. Quinn.